test against fur in front of the Louis Vuitton store. None of us understand Spanish, and we just had a whole conversation. Like he's speaking Spanish, we were speaking English, and we were like. We just checked in. Here is a little room tour. It has a really nice, like, vintage drink station. And this is me. It's honestly a pretty small room. But it works. Here's the bathroom. We chose this hotel mainly because it's close to Miami Beach, so it's really convenient because all we do here is probably gonna be lying beside the beach. I look so tiny compared to the bats. These bats are like quite big. It's currently 5.54 and we booked a reservation at Wasashi's Mansion for 6.15 So now we're just um, about to go there and have dinner We spent almost the entire afternoon by the pool just chilling um, We didn't do much today because the weather is kind of like cloudy
Okay, thank you. Good morning everyone, it's the next day and our plan today is to explore the design district. We just arrived with it's ready now. Um, fortunately, they are giving like free umbrellas. We found a nearby restaurant and we're just walking towards there. It's gonna take like two minutes. I ordered toast chicken wrap. I thought it's a sandwich, but wrap is fine. pretty much walk around the entire design district it's smaller than we thought it was gonna be we also saw a protest against fur in front of the Louis Vuitton store we found a contemporary art museum nearby so that's what we're gonna do thought as a fake person until he starts to get up oh wait this is the bird we saw yesterday I still don't know what is the name of the species there's a cat it looks very lonely Currently 5.18 and now we're sitting outside the museum which is at the back and we don't know where else we could go so probably we'll just go home We're going for dinner now We took a bit of rest in the hotel um, after museum We are getting Korean rice bowls It's in a like, cage of the market so just now we were on the river and we were trying to tell the driver where we want to be dropped off and he just starts to speak Spanish and we were speaking English we none of us understand Spanish and we just had a whole conversation like he's speaking Spanish we were speaking English and we were like keep talking like it was so hilarious and my friend just tell, just told me the driver sent her a text message it's in spanish as well it's been happened a few times in miami so far and we were only and we have only been here for three days i got a chicken and egg rice bowl I'm all dressed up now and we are going to the hotel bar to have some drinks What is this? It's a, a Mai Tai so oh. light rum, dark rum, it has uh, cinnamon syrup, pineapple honey. Oh, Friday. sounds pretty good. Uh, you're 21, right? Yeah, I am. Thank you. You're welcome. Enjoy. I didn't know what to order, so I just asked him for like a sweet, like pretty drink, and he made me this. This is actually so good. It tastes really tropical. You can taste the pineapple, like rum here. Okay, it's the last day and we just checking another hotel. This is a lot better. It has like private beach and stuff. So we reserve this for one day and I'll give you a little room tour. This is what's like when we go in. And you 
you can see the sea here. I love the aesthetic so much. It's like white but like wooden. Let's check out the bathroom. Okay, we are changed now and we are here to get some lunch and then we are going to the beach to take photos and just enjoy the afternoon. The potato is golden and crispy on the outside and soft on the inside, which is so good. outfit of today pretty chill compared to yesterday okay now we are heading to the beach Oh, this is real like I was just chilling by the pool and you just came out from nowhere and I was I'm just it's moving okay it's 5 47 now and we are back in the room I didn't get much footage by the beach and by the pool mainly because um, I wasn't allowed to use camera and during our time there like they say there's gonna be a storm and they like they are chasing us out of the beach and then we moved to like another spot and we were trying to take pictures it was just it was just hectic and i just didn't have time to um video everything and now we are back and i think we're going to do some work and it's gonna be dinner time and Maybe we'll do something in the evening, but it depends on the weather as well, so we'll see. Check out the sunset, guys. It's so pretty. It's 7.28 right now, and we are going for dinner. Wait. Okay, look at the sunset. This place looks super homey. It's an Italian restaurant. We actually just randomly found it like on Google you know, like half an hour ago. We booked another fancy restaurant last night, but we don't have enough time to go there. So we're just off for somewhere nearby. And this place looks pretty cozy and you know? I feel like their food is gonna be super authentic. Okay, no, thank you. You're welcome. I got this monster. I don't know what's it called, but like, it's like the dumpling. It's like the Italian dumpling. Okay, we are back at hotel now and I want to get some pictures because I love the hotel's aesthetics too much. I'm taking off my makeup and I'm about to shower and get ready for bed. And I just want to update that I think I get a bit allergic reaction from the seafood we ate at dinner, like the octopus and probably the 
loves her feelings. It's my first time get allergic to seafood. Like, um, like the corners of my lips are like getting red and like, like it's itchy. It's been like this since dinner. I don't think there's anything wrong with the food they serve. I just think, I don't know. I've never eaten like a whole um, octopus just stained. So that's probably the reason. I don't know. I feel like I have not talked much during this entire vlog. So I'm just gonna catch up with you while I'm taking off the makeup. So basically this is our last night and we are leaving tomorrow. Um, my flight is at 4 p.m. and we have to check out by 11. This is basically a super short trip and we're just trying to squeeze the weekend and like Friday and a little bit of Monday in so it doesn't affect school but like we can also get enough vacation time as much as possible if you're planning to come to miami i think there are a few things you can take note of which i did not know like before coming and i did a bit of research actually but i didn't say i didn't see anyone mentioning it so here are just a few input that i noticed during the trip firstly is the weather the weather is like super moody which means it rains suddenly it has thunderstorms suddenly and it gets like sunny suddenly like there's literally no prediction and like there's no pattern it's really hard to predict what's going to come um and the weather doesn't has no relation with the weather forecast whatsoever it's not it's not accurate at all but the thing is um, in Miami it rains almost every day but it's always like a short period of raining and we talked to a staff at the hotel and they told us um, usually the weather is the worst from August to October which is now so we didn't pick the best weather to come if you're planning to come to miami this is something you can take note of you can come in like other times like january or like june i think it will be much better another thing is um i don't know if it's because most of activities are within like this district which i think is called art deco or somewhere near art deco district basically it's a super touristy place that there are just a lot of hotels restaurants and just touristy spots so all the food places we went to whether it's a bar or a restaurant or just i don't know a cafe they all have service fees included like mandatory in your bill it's usually 20 percent and although like it doesn't require you to tip afterwards but it's still something i think you should keep in mind of um i didn't know this before coming although i think it's kind of re reasonable because this is what they make a living based on because i think this is their main kind of income for the city or the area of the city we notice a lot of people here don't actually speak english and a lot of them only speak spanish it's been happening almost daily that we have like uber driver or hotel staff 
who completely don't speak English at all and they will just be speaking Spanish to us and we won't understand anything and I, I don't know like how we made it but I think it's something super common here that Spanish is like the biggest language other than English um, yeah so if you know how to speak Spanish that's a big plus if you ever want to visit Miami okay I just checked out and stored my luggage now I'm going to find somewhere to eat and <clears throat> it will be about the time to go to the airport The Mexican culture is so prominent here that even the menu in this cafe is mainly Spanish with like English in a small letter size underneath. I still have some time before going to the airport. It's now 11.55. I think I'm leaving in about one and a half hours. So I'm back at the lobby and I just want to update on the seafood allergy from last night. It's getting a lot better. I almost can't feel anything now. But when I was eating, I can still feel a bit like tingling feelings at the corners of my mouth. But it's pretty much gone. I just find it so weird because my whole life I've never been allergic to seafood. I've actually eaten tons of lobsters around March when I was visiting Boston. So I have no idea like maybe the seafood in Miami are just extra aggressive. I don't know. do some homework. I actually have a class tonight. Um, although it's on Zoom, but still I have to catch up on work. 